Hello! Welcome back to New Ballet Storytime. I've loved seeing so many of you in the classes online at New Ballet School, and I'm really excited for our next story. Here's today. Ah, one of my favorites. Today we'll be reading Sleeping Beauty. Let's go. What better place to read a Sleeping Beauty ballet than in a palace garden? This version of Sleeping Beauty Ballet is brought to you by New Ballet San Jose. In the Grand Palace, King Peter and Queen Alice and Elizabeth are preparing for the celebration of the 18th birthday of their daughter, Princess Aurora. Princess Aurora has proven herself to be wise, brave, and kind. And it's time now for her to take on some of the responsibilities of rulership. The master of ceremonies, the king's attendant, Tom Thumb, and all of the lords and ladies of the kingdom prepare for the guest of honor, Princess Aurora. Princess Aurora arrives and soon after is greeted by a retinue of fairies, including her three fairy godmothers, the lilac fairy, the rose fairy, and the hyacinth fairy. By means of their magic, the fairies recognize Aurora's leadership qualities, and they celebrate her wisdom, her bravery, and her kindness. But suddenly, lightning flashes, and a chill falls over the court. The master of ceremonies realizes that he has forgotten to invite Carabas, an evil fairy known for her dark temper. Carabas arrives with a retinue of bats in a rage at being overlooked. She casts a spell on Aurora, which she says will kill the young princess. The whole court is horrified. However, the good fairies use their magic to protect Aurora. As a result, she does not die, but she falls into a deep sleep. When a prince who is her equal is found, the good fairies will help him to break the enchantment and Aurora will awaken. Furious, Carabas disappears. The fairies summon magical unicorns to protect Aurora. They cast a spell over the entire kingdom so that the king, the queen, and all of the court will sleep until it is time for Aurora to waken. One hundred years later, the gardens and grounds of the palace have grown into a forest. Prince, Prince Florimon from a neighboring kingdom happens upon the forest. The fairies recognize in Prince Florimon the same qualities that defined Princess Aurora, wisdom, bravery, and kindness. They show the prince a vision of the sleeping princess and he promises to do what he can to break the spell. The fairies use their magic to call forth the spirit of Aurora, and she and the prince fall in love. The unicorns lead Prince Florimond to the sleeping Aurora, and after a struggle with the evil Carabas, true love's kiss wakes the princess from her slumber. The spell is broken. The kingdom awakens, the whole court rejoices. In honor of Aurora's wedding to Prince Florimond, the king and queen host a magnificent celebration. Guests from the kingdom and from fairy tales arrive, including the three fairy godmothers, Puss in Boots with Tutu, the white cat, Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf, Tom Thumb, and the bluebird with Princess Florine. Amid much dancing and merriment, Florimond and Aurora are married. After their wedding, they are crowned. They will succeed to the throne and will rule over the kingdom in peace 
and happiness. Thank you for joining me for today's Storytime Ballet. Stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>